Let us now start writing standard equation of a hyperbola. So we are given here the center at 2, 2, and then the vertex at 0, 2, and our focus at 5, 2. So if we are going to uh, write our standard equation with the given information, we can make use of our graph and then plot all the information and then come up with uh, the needed information from there. So, so we start with plotting our center. Center is at 2, 2, so this is somewhere here. So this will be our center. And then we have also the vertex 1, uh, which is on 0, 2. So this is somewhere here. And then we also have a focus at 5, 2. So this is somewhere here. And once we have plotted, we can now identify the orientation. Our orientation based on what we can see on the graph, this is horizontal. And then next one, since we have the center already here and we have the orientation already also here, so we can look for our A. Our A is this distance from the center to A vertex. So from here, from the center, we may count our number of units from center to our vertex. We have 1, 2. So this is equal to 2. And then we can also look for A squared, which is equal to 2 squared, which is 4. Because what we will be needing in writing our standard equation will be our A squared. Now for B, we cannot look for B right away based on the given information but we can make use of our C since we are given the focus here. C is the distance from the center to a focus so we may count from the center the number of units until we get to the focus so we have here one two three so there are three units from the center to the focus so our C is three and then our C squared is nine then we are going to look or solve for B so that we can have our b squared or vice versa but this time let me start with b squared because our equation based on the pythagorean theorem that is related to hyperbola is c squared equal to a squared plus b squared so from here we can generate our equation so that we can look for b squared by simply moving a squared to the other side so we have our c squared minus a squared that will be equal to b squared. So our b squared now will be equal to c squared minus a squared. We just have to simply plot or plug in the values at the top. We have c squared which is 9 minus our a squared which is 4. 9 minus 4, we've got now b squared which is equal to 5. So since our b squared is 5, our b is square root of 5. So from here, we can write our standard equation based on the center horizontal a squared and b squared. So since this is horizontal, we have here x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared that's equal to 1. So plugging in, we've got x minus our h here on the center is 2 and our k is 2. So we have that squared over a squared, which is 4, minus our y, minus our k, which is 2, and then squared over b squared, that will be equal to, our b squared, by the way, is 5. So we have that equal to 1. So this is now our standard equation of the hyperbola. Our second example is with a focus of negative 2, negative 3, and another focus of negative 2, 3, and transverse axis of length 4. So first, let's try to plot our focus 1 and focus 2 on our graph. We have negative 2, negative 3. That will be somewhere here. This is our focus 1. And we have our focus 2 at negative 2, 3. That will be somewhere here. So here, 
we've got a transverse axis of length 4. Transverse axis is a line segment, I mean, is a line segment in which that is connecting your vertices. So we know that based on 4 here as our length of the transverse axis, we can generate our A. Our A there, since our length of the transverse axis is 2A, and that is equal to 4 according to this problem, we are going to divide this by 2 so that we can get our A. Our A here is 2. Now, we don't have our center yet, so we are going to look for the center. Center based on our focus and our graph, if you try to look at this, we have 1, 2, 3... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units away from each other. So if you wanted to get the center, you just have to get the middle of that one by dividing 6 by 2, and that will be equal to 3. So we will be counting from the focus, uh, regardless of you start with focus 1 or focus 2, 3 units, and then you will be locating the center. So we have 1, 2, 3, this will be our center. Our center here is at negative 2 on your x and then 0 on the y. Now since we have the center, let's go for the orientation. Now the orientation of our uh, graph, if you try to look at that one based on our focus or focus 1 and 2, we can see that they are vertically uh, oriented. So we have, we have the orientation that should be on vertical. Now, next one, we have our A, so which is 2. So, we have now our A squared, which is equal to 4. We cannot find our B since we don't have the covertices, but we can find our C, which is based on the center to a, a, a certain focus. So, if you try, try to count from the center going to a focus, you would notice that there is 3 units from the center to a focus. So our C there is 3. And then getting the C squared, that will be square of 3. That's 9. So we are now ready to look for our B squared. And so would B. So based on the uh, equation a while ago on the first example, we have that as B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. So looking for b squared, we just have to plug in the value. So we have c squared, which is 9, minus our a squared, which is 4. Our b squared is equal to 5. So we have now the b squared, which is 5. So we have b, which is square root of 5. So out from there, we can now come up with our standard equation of the hyperbola. Since this is vertical, so we start with y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared that's equal to 1. So let's try to plug in y minus our k there. This is our center. Our k is 0. And then we square that 1 over our a squared, which is 4, minus x minus our h, which is negative 2, and then squared over our b squared, which is and that is equal to 1. So simplifying this one, this is now y squared over 4 minus x. This is minus and then negative. That would lead to a positive or a plus. So x plus 2 squared over 5. That's equal to 1. So that is now the standard equation of our hyperbola. Okay, now let's go to our third example. Our third example here, we've got a given at the center, which is at the origin, vertices at 0, negative 5, and 0, 5, and length of the conjugate axis is 4. So let's start. Let's try to plug that in. I mean, let's try to plot that on the graph. So the center is at the origin. We have that one here. This is our center. And then the vertices is at 0, negative 5. This is where one of the vertex is. Let me just have it as a v sub 1. And then another vertex is at 0, 5. Let me just call that one as v sub 2. And then 
uh, based on that one, we can start with, since we have already the center, we can now j go directly to identifying the orientation based on the graph. We can clearly see that the, the orientation of the one that we plotted is a vertical. So it also follows that the orientation of the graph of our hyperbola is also vertical. So next one, we are going to look for our A. Since we are given with vertices, we can now simply look for A by simply counting the distance from or the number of units from the center to a vertex. So if I'm going to count from the center up to vertex 2, I can have it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 5 units from the center to a vertex. So our A is 5. And then our A squared is 25. Then we have also the B here. The B, we can generate that one from this statement here. The length of the conjugate axis is 4. So since you've got the length of the conjugate axis, length of the conjugate axis, we've got that as 2B. And then on this problem, we've got 2B equal to 4. We divide out by 2 to get our B. Our B here is 2. And then we have our b squared, which is equal to 4. Now, since we have already the b squared here, we don't need to look for the c squared because we don't need that one in writing our standard equation. So what we need are the centered, the orientation, and then the a squared and the b squared. So let's now start. Since the orientation is vertical, let's start with y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared that's equal to 1 and then let's try to plug in we have y minus our k since the center is at the origin we have uh, that one a 0 0 so automatically our h and k is also a 0 so our k here is a 0 and then we square over our a squared is 25 minus x minus our h is another 0 and then we square over b squared which is 4 that is equal to 1. Now simplifying this one here we've got y squared over 25 minus x squared over 4 that is equal to 1. So that is how you write your standard equation of a hyperbola using the graphical method. So again, I hope this helps you out. Please practice and practice, and that would be the key to mastering math.